Nowadays, people like to talk about the past as if they know it, seen it, lived through it. They talk about the past as if to liberate themselves from the ignorance of others, while at the same time running away from theirs. But the past only reveals itself to those brave enough to search for it, bold enough to question it, and courageous enough to accept it, no matter the ugly it brings to the surface. Piece by piece, the past reveals itself to me. All the ugly it came with, and all the suffering it kept hidden in a garden of memories that had become a graveyard of dreams. Yet through the rubbles of the past, I noticed something, something bigger than fear, something stronger than rage, and deeper than suffering. A force and determination you never thought could exist. A manifestation of a nation, their courage unmatched, their faith unwavering, their resistance united. This is their past, a past that cannot be claimed, for it has always belonged to them. The past reveals itself, while history is what we tell ourselves and others. And today, I'm here to tell you that history does not belong to the oppressors, the corruptors, the colonizers. History, our history, is not theirs to tell. And no longer do we have to abide by their rules. So this is where we choose to manifest our freedom, to not cling to the same delusions, to not buy the same lies they tell themselves, to liberate themselves, from the ignorance of others, while at the same time running away from theirs. I am not speaking of justice. Never dared to dream of it. Never cared to ask for it. Simply because I know it does not exist. Not here, not in this world, not like this. Rather, I speak of redemption. Something I came to realize we all are desperately searching for, pining for, dying for. For with redemption, all will be forgiven. Even if forgiveness was not asked for, let alone begged for in the first place. But in redemption, I find forgiveness. And in forgiving, I find peace. The kind of peace that comes to us when we let the past reveal itself to us and the truth it brings to the surface. Thank you.